Welcome to Saxon's uh, Algebra 1 3rd edition. This is Lesson 80, Operations with Scientific Notation. And <clears throat> we're going to be looking at multiplying and dividing um, numbers with scientific notation. So I found this little example for you when we are multiplying scientific notation numbers, we take the first number of each and we multiply them together. So we're multiplying 2.5 times 5 and then we will multiply these numbers, 10 to the 17th times 10 to the 14th. And when we are multiplying these, what we're really doing is adding. So 2.5 times 5 is um, 12.5 and then 17 plus 14 is 31. Now we know that this number is not in scientific notation so we're going to have to move this decimal one to the left so <clears throat> instead of 12.5 times 10 to the 31st we're going to make it 1.25 times 10 to the 32nd. In division, we're simply, we're going to divide these two and we're going to subtract this bottom number from the top number. And what we're doing really is adding positive and negatives when we do this. So we're going to divide 2.5 divided by 5 and we get 0.5 and then 17 minus 14 is 3. This number is not in scientific notation. So right now we have 0.5 times 10 to the third. But we have to move this decimal here one place. So that's going to be minus 1 to this 3, 5 times 10 to the second. All right, just some more examples. 5 times 4 to uh, times 10 to the 6th, well, we'll say 5 times the 4, which is 20, times 10 to the 6th, but 20 is not in scientific notation, so I'm going to need to move this decimal one place to the left, which means I add 1 to the 6th. So we have 2.0 times 10 to the 7th. In this one, we're going to say 1.5 times 3.2 for a total of 4.8 times 10 to the second. We didn't have to do anything to this one because our answer was already in scientific notation form. Again, more examples. We're going to say 2 times 3 is 6. 10 to the second and 10 to the fourth is 10 to the sixth. In this one, we're going to divide 7.5 divided by 2.5 is 3, 10 to the 7th, and 10 to the negative 3rd. When we um, add, when we bring this up, which is what you need to do when you're dividing, you're kind of bringing this up and dividing, bringing this up and dividing. So when you bring this up, you change the sign. If you move it up or down, the sign changes. So when I bring this 10 to the negative third up, it becomes 10 to the positive third, and we have 7 plus 3, which is 10 to the tenth. Another example for you, 9 times 10 to the eighth divided by 2 times 10 to the second. 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. And 10 to the 8th divided by 10 to the 2nd. When this 2 comes up, it's going to become negative 2. And 8 minus 2 is 10 to the 6th. And 4.5 is in scientific notation. So when we get that far, we're finished. Okay, some examples from your book. We have <clears throat> this. And before we can do any multiplication or division or anything, we're going to have to um, 
get each one of these into the correct scientific notation form. This is uh, 10 to the negative fifth, but I'm going to have to move this decimal one, two, three, four, five more places to the right. So that means uh, negative five more. So now I have four times 10 to the negative tenth. And here I'm going to move it one, two, three, four, five to the left, that's a positive, so 7 times 10 to the fifth. Now this looks like what I've been working with. I take the 4 out and the 7 out and I multiply them and I get 28. 10 to the negative tenth times 10 to the fifth, we're adding, so negative 10 and positive 5 is negative 5. Now 28 is not in scientific notation, so I'm going to have to move this one to the left, which is a neg, um, I'm sorry, a positive. So this would end up being 2.8 times 10 to the negative 5 plus 1, which is negative 4. All right, in this one, I've got to make both of these in scientific notation form. This becomes 1, 2, 3. 1.6 times 10 to the negative third, and this becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4 times 10 to the fifth. So I'm going to divide 1.6 divided by 4 is a total of 0.4, and 10 to the negative third and 10 to the fifth, remember this 5 is going to come up and be negative 5, so that's going to be negative 8 but I'm going to have to move this decimal one place to the right, so that's going to add one to this uh, uh, negative eight. I'll add a negative one. So I'm going to have four times 10 to the negative ninth after I've moved that decimal. All right, here now I'm going to have four that I'm going to have to get in scientific notation form first. So this one becomes 7 times 10 to the negative 27 because I had to move this 4 to the right. This becomes 4 times 10 to the ninth because I moved it 3 to the left and that added to the 6. This becomes 4 times 10 to the negative fifth because I moved it 5 times. And this becomes 7 times 10 to the sixth because I had to move the decimal six places to the left. Now I'm going to say seven times four and on the top, which is 28, and four times seven on the bottom, which is 28. And then I've got 10 to the negative 27th times 10 to the ninth. And here we're multiplying so I'm going to add those two, and I get 10 to the negative 18. And here I'm going to add these two, negative 5 and positive 6, gives me 10 to the first. Now, 28 divided by 28 is 1. And when I move this 1, 10 to the, neg to the positive 1, it becomes negative 1, leaving me with 10 to the negative 19th. And here, I didn't have to move any decimals in my final answer because 1 is in scientific notation form. Okay, so in this one we have um, four numbers that we're going to have to convert to scientific notation. This first one we're going to have to move two places to the right, making that 7 times 10 to the 0 because to the right means negative 2 and 2 and negative 2 makes 0. And this will be 8 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On the bottom, we're going to have 1 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, fourth times 4 times 10 to the negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6, 7, negative 7. All right, so basically on top I'm going to multiply 7 times 8. And on bottom I'm going to multiply 
1 times 4 and then I'm going to multiply 10 to the 0 times 10 to the 5th and on the bottom 10 to the 4th times 10 to the negative 7th. So let's uh, do the math on all of this. 7 times 8 is 56 and 1 times 4 is 4 times 10 to the 5th because 5 plus 0 is 5 and here 4 times 10 to the negative 3rd. When I divide 56 by 4, I get 14. And here, when this 3 goes up, remember it's going to become plus 3. So I have 14 times 10 to the 8th. But 14 is not in scientific notation, so I'm going to have to move this decimal. And that will be 1.4 times 10 to the 9th because I moved it one place to the left. Okay, I apologize for already having some work done here. I thought that I had hit record and apparently I did not. So let's get started on this one. You can see that I've moved the decimal in this top number so that I have 4 times 10 to the negative 11 because I had to move it two places to the right. And here I have 5 times 10 to the I moved it one place to the left, so that would be 10 to the 17th. And on the bottom, I've got 4 times 10 to the, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 to the negative 6, and 5 times 10 to the 4th. So what I'm going to do here is 4 times 5 is 20, and on the bottom here, 4 times 5 is also 20, times 10 to the, and then I'll have to add, a negative 11 and positive 17 is positive 6, negative 6 and positive 4 is negative 2. Now I'm going to do my division. 20 divided by 20 is 1, which is already in scientific notation, so I don't have to do anything else there. And then this negative 2 is going to come up when I divide, and it's going to be plus 2. So 1 times 10 to the 8th is my final answer. Good job. Um, I will see you back next time for Lesson 81. As always, if you have questions, um, get in contact with me. If you're online, you can email me. Um, if you're in class, you can get my attention tomorrow and we'll, we'll work through a couple together. Good job. I'll see you next time for Lesson 88.